Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nahi and today we're gonna take a look at the energy check for the next 48 hours, okay? I'm Capricorn myself and one of my friends Capricorn is undergoing a lot of things so I especially decided to give this message to my lovely Capricorn, okay? So let's begin with the shamanic healing deck, okay? All right, thank you, Angel. Thank you, Spree. Please give us the message for our lovely Capricorn. What do we need to know about Capricorn for the next 48 hours? Okay, the first card is discernment. Discernment. You know what, Capricorn? Now, there are so many options ahead of you. There are so many things uh, going around and something coming up to you. All you need right now is your discernment, your wise decision, your thinking power is needed at this tough time. Okay. Angels, please give me more for my Capricorn. Okay, this one. It's all good. It's all good. No matter what happened in the past, no matter how you view the things maybe you would think that things are not going as you expected and things happen without uh, you know without notification things happen you know you never know what happened what will happen within this second but angel just gave us capricorn the message it's all good so you don't have to worry about a thing okay you are here on earth to love and to be loved Okay, my lovely Capricorn, let me ask another deck. Please give me more message for our lovely Capricorn. We need your power, my angel. Okay, two cards. Letting go and originality. Letting go. I forgot the name of the song. Na, na, na. letting go <laughs> you know anyway you have to let go learn to let go you can't mm, you cannot control everything how can you control everything there are many factors in this world so many people on this planet earth and in your environment there are many 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 people nosy people right for example there are many things happening around you so sometimes it's easy for you to lose your mind sometimes it's it's, it's easy for you to go to another go to a direction even though you are not fully satisfied with this direction you know what i mean so capricorn you just have to let go of whatever happened in the past Maybe you made a wrong decision because of other environment, because of other people's opinions, right? So in that case, you have to let go of the past things. Or let's put it this way. Let go of the control issue. Have you heard about that? Yeah. The universe and angel, only God knows about our life past. Because we are just little human being, well, of course we have so much potential here, but we are sometimes short, ah, uh, short, short sighted, short sighted. So we cannot pr predict one hundred percent perfectly. So sometimes we choose the wrong direction and we start regret about the things that we did in the past. But don't blame everything on yourself. Don't be harsh on yourself, my lovely Capricorn. You have to let go of the past hurt. You have to let go of the past the past decision. You sometimes you have to let go of the fact that you made the wrong decision. You know what I'm saying? Be nice to you, my lovely Capricorn. Life is beautiful just the way it is. Look at that. How beautiful. Sometimes you have to stop for a moment and enjoy this moment fully. Enjoy the beautiful sunshine and rainbow over the sky, in the sky. 
let go of the control issues let go of the past hurt okay beautiful message oh forgot i almost forgot originality here okay originality Bla blaze your own trail originality capricorn i told you before when i would talk about this letting go Sometimes we tend to make a decision based on other people's opinions, based on other people's feedback. But this time, at least, at least upcoming two days, you decide what you truly want. Right? Originality. You are unique just the way you are. You are beautiful just the way you are. And every person in the world, we are different. Even the identical twins, they think differently, you know? We ourselves, one little person, is so precious being. So don't forget that you are precious one. Your originality is needed here on Earth. Okay, beautiful message. So let me ask the angel answer card for our lovely Capricorn. <coughs> Angel, please show me the methods for our lovely Capricorn. What do we need to know about Capricorn's life? Okay. Look for a sign. Look for a sign, my lovely Capricorn. Positive sign. Here, I guess. You may have ignored a certain sign. Where sign here means... Your intuition, for example, you have known that this thing was meant to happen to you. This thing, for example, if you want to become an artist, for example, and your job is doing some other things instead of doing pursuing artist, artist things, you know, you know that you are meant to be an artist, for example, Capricorn, but you have ignored the sign. But angel, look for a sign. Angel suggesting that we have to look for the beautiful sign that the angel and universe spirit guides giving us, Capricorn, giving you. The sign, the special sign, which can present your originality to the world. You're beautiful and you are wonderful being. Never compare your personality never compare your originality with other people's okay so look for a sign you know what you are good at right okay let me ask another one angel please show me more cards for our lovely capricorn what do we need to know <laughs> okay Okay, there are uh, three cards. Okay, reconsider. Reconsider. Whatever you are doing, whatever you have been doing so far, if the outcome, if the result is not that satisfactory to you, reconsider your life path. Maybe there is plan B. Maybe there is unknown path that you have never discovered yourself. So please listen to your intuition. Reconsider. Think wisely. And be assertive. If you happen to find what you truly want in your life, never listen to other naysayers. Never listen to other people's feedback. You just have to only, only listen to your advice within yourself. Be assertive. If you just make up your mind, for example, oh, I want to take life path C. Never look around another life path D or E or F. If you think that this way is your way, my way is highway, you go for that. Okay, be assertive, my lovely Capricorn. And never uh, isolate yourself from others. Angel. Angel just gave us the message, Capricorn. Ask, ask for help from others. You are not alone. I will be with you. You are not alone, my lovely Capricorn. 
Don't be in that self-pity party mode. Don't be in that caveman mode. Caveman? I don't know how to say that. You know, if you have so many things going on, it's our human's basic instinct to go back to the mother, mother womb. I don't know how to pronounce this. W sound. Womb. You know, you want to go back to your crib, baby crib, you know. You need your fortress yourself. But sometimes if the duration, if the period of your self-isolation is, is getting too longer, long and longer, it's really hard for you to come out of your shell again. If you are too worried about your future, sometimes it, it is okay for you to talk. Talk about the issue with other people, you know. If you have best friends, that's nice. If you don't have any close friends, why don't you listen to tarot reading? And sometimes you can find that tarot reading, intuitive reading, record reading, whatever that is, is very helpful for you to look into your heart, listen to your intuition. You know, because you already know the answer for any problem yourself. Ask for help. All right. And then, this reading actually is not for the love reading. So, I was going to wrap this up. But I'm Capricorn myself. So, I'm getting curious about my love life. So, let's begin with this romance. Angel deck. All right, Capricorn. Oh, my gosh. Why do I have this one? Sorry, these days I'm so super busy with my uh, with my with my things. Oh my gosh! The first one, <laughs> the last one. Okay, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. My lovely Capricorn, some of you, well, including myself, are still dealing with that traumatic event happened in the past. Not that dra not that dramatic, not that traumatic, but still that issue, child wound issue sometimes comes to me. So if you are in that kind of case, now it's time to take care of your inner child. It's time to say to yourself, Capricorn, say that it's okay. That thing happened in the past. You are strong enough now. You have grown up. You are not that child anymore. No matter what happened to you. It's time to embrace the past. Embrace your past hurt. So that you can move forward in this beautiful new future. Because the bottom of the deck is wedding card I got. You know, I didn't even shuffle enough, but th these days I haven't seen this beautiful wedding card so far. Capricorn, as soon as you heal yourself from the family issues that happened in the past, childhood wound, you will realize that it was not your fault. You will see things differently because you, the thing happened in the past it was not because of you, my lover Capricorn. Maybe you were just there because because you were too angelic. If you were not a good girl or a good boy, maybe you have left the family long before, right? But you are still dealing with the family with the open-hearted and warm-hearted mind. You're, you're such a lovely, lovely being, my lovely Capica. As soon as you heal that kind of issues fully, your love life will benefit from that because the wedding card 
symbolizes here your love life will be blossoming you know my lovely capricorn no matter what happened in the past it's time to forgive and forget i know it's really hard for some of you capricorn to forgive and forget it's easier said than done right but at least try your best try your best to embrace the past hurt and say that it's not your fault to you okay i'm getting emotional because I myself have been a little bit of childhood issues. Okay, my lovely Capricorn. We already have the wedding card. So, I don't want to go in detail. Alright, love yourself first. And then your true love, true romance will come to your life. I hope you help. I hope you... I hope this helps you in one way or another. And I'll be back with another beautiful reading. My lovely Capricorn. Thank you. Bye.